Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to cover another command which you should be good with or familiar with in order to write efficient shell script, right? An advanced shell script. So, and that command is tr or translate or transpose or transfer, whatever you can call it. Although the actual full form is translate. So first let's look at the man page for translate. So you can see, you can translate or delete characters, which is an understatement because you can do a lot of stuff with tr command, right? So you can read through the documentation. I just wanted to show you a few basically sets, which it has, which will be very useful. And these are these, right? So you can see digit, graph, lower, upper. So I'll show you how basically you can use these, right? Okay, let's quit. So for example, let's start with, I'll just cat out ETC Red Hat release. So this is the text which I'm getting, right? But in this, the release R is actually lowercase and I want to make it uppercase. So how can I do this with you using tr command, right? So I can, and yeah, I mean, I can do this with tr command. I just wanted to talk about how you actually pass the input. So you can either do cat or you can provide input via standard in as well, right? So let's see that. So I'll show you both the ways basically. So first, uh, this is the way which I prefer. So we'll go this way. So cat and we'll pipe it and pass the output to tr command and we'll say the small r should be replaced by the capital R, right? And if you hit enter, you can see uh, release is now, I mean, it has now capital R, right? So that's how you basically use tr command. Again, moving on some different use cases, say, suppose this string has spaces, but I want to replace spaces with uh, say a hyphen, right? So I can do the same thing and this time. I'll show you the different use uh, the how to take input from standard in so I'll just do tr and I would say that replace space uh, with hyphen, right? And I'll take the input from etc red hat release so now you can see all my spaces have turned into hyphens, right? That's another thing. Uh, there's a set by which I showed you, which is also there, which you can use to replace spaces. So say that set is basically called space, right? This, so this is the way you do. And I want to replace spaces with say, again, I'll do underscore this time. Right, so you can see it has replaced underscore and it has also put underscore at the end of the line because uh, the space set uh, with tr command actually represents space, tab and new line. So it will you do, I mean it will look for space, uh, tab, space and new line. That is why it has put an underscore after this as well, right. So for this purpose, you should always use this plain space, right? Just do like this. That's that you should use. Okay. Now, suppose I want to change all the capital letters in this to small letters, right? So again, I can use tr command and I'll use the sets which are present already present. So I'll say upper. I mean, change all the upper to lower, right? So this is like, look for all the upper case uh, characters and change them into lower case characters. Let's hit run. And you can see all the upper case characters have been changed to smaller case. You can do the opposite as well. So I can just say, look for lower case and change them to uppercase right you can see all have been changed to uppercase characters the final use of tr command is actually to delete i mean you can delete uh, characters uh, using tr command let's see how so again i'll do httpd version which we did with comma or can cut and say i do grep 
on version and then I pass this command to cut if and D slash and I want to print the second field so you can see I'm getting this right but what if I just want to get two four six so you, I've shown you how you can do this with cut and arc itself but what if I want to use tr command and which is actually very efficient so I can just pass this to tr hyphen d and then I can just pass whatever I want to delete so I'll just pass this I want to delete CentOS completely and you can see we are getting the only the version right so this is very efficient way to do that all right so this is it for this video uh, this is all about tr command in next video i'll be covering another important command which is used very i mean in very massively when you are writing advanced shell script which is t t double e so t command is another command which is used massively i thought i thought of covering it in this video but i wanted to keep this video short so that's it this is it for this video guys i hope you like the videos please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching